This morning there was awful news of a mass shooting in Thailand. A lot of preschoolers were, were shot. The teacher was stabbed. An event like that happens. You can't help but have a lot of compassion for those who died, those who were wounded, their relatives. You also have to have compassion for the person who did the crime. The amount of delusion that would make somebody do that. It's the kind of thing that pulls people down. So spread lots of goodwill to everybody involved. And stop to think about the human condition, as we say, as we keep chatting, aging, illness, and death are normal. We haven't gone beyond them. We will grow different, separate from all that is dear and appealing to us. And what we have left is our karma, which means we have to be very careful about our karma. This is why we meditate, because where does the karma come from? It comes from the mind. It's the intentions of the mind. And if the mind is well trained, then you can get some control over your intentions. Because otherwise, moods come into the mind, ideas come into the mind. And sometimes they can be totally crazy, and yet they can take over. So you have to have a place where you can step back from your moods, step back from your thoughts, and just watch them so you can decide if there's something is worth going with or not worth going with. If it's not worth going with, then you learn how to snuff it out, not get involved. And realize there are a lot of th thoughts that are worth going with, so you should pay attention there. Thoughts of goodwill, thoughts of compassion, empathetic joy. Thoughts of equanimity, because it all comes down to karma. So try to do nothing but good karma and wish that all beings would do good karma. That's what it means to have goodwill. It's not just that, may you be happy wherever you are, whatever you're doing. It's may, may you understand the causes for your true happiness and be willing and able to act on them. That's goodwill. You apply it to yourself, you apply it to other people. That way your goodwill can be all around. It doesn't have to depend on people being nice or people being good. If they haven't been good, if they've been doing horrible things like happened yesterday, then you hope that they see the error of their ways. The karma they have already is bad enough. You don't want to wish anything worse on them. And this way our goodwill can be all over, all around, without exception. At the same time, we develop a sense of sangwega. If we don't clean up our minds, we're going to have to keep coming back to worlds where things like this happen. So we have our tests set out for us. Goodwill for everybody, goodwill for yourself. That means practice. You benefit from the practice directly. Other people have benefited. They see a good example that there are still good human beings in the world, people with compassion, people with wisdom. And no matter what other people do, you want to make sure that you set a good example. The Buddha gives the image of a thoroughbred horse who gets yoked to a, ch to a cart with other horses. And the thoroughbred horse's attitude is, well, whether the other horses pull the cart or not, I'm going to pull. I'm going to do the work. In the same way, whether other people are practicing or not, that doesn't matter. You decide you're going to do the practice. Because after all, who are you responsible for? You're responsible for yourself. So make sure that you do the practice well. And then dedicate the merit of that practice to all those who are willing to express their appreciation for that. May they enjoy the results of that merit, too. And this way your heart gets enlarged. It can be in this world and see all the suffering of the world, and yet not get defeated by it. You can stick with the practice, and then dedicate the, the results of that practice to beings all around.